Hey, what's up guys and welcome back for another video. I do apologize, this one is going to be a picture video because I do not feel very well to be on camera. And so please go ahead and watch to the end. So let's go back to the relationship where there's a betrayal. It's like virtually every time someone gets flipped upside down because of a betrayal in a relationship, after the betrayal happens, they say to themselves, there were all these signs I didn't pay attention to. So, and maybe the first sign is, who knows, your partner starts to flirt a bit more when you go out on a social occasion. It's, and not a lot more, just a bit more. And you decide, because maybe you're timid, that, that that's okay. You're not going to do anything about it. But, it, but it's, it's interesting that it happens. It, it grabs your attention. That's right, you guys. Every human being has some level of intuition, and what that's called is a red flag. He gave an example like somebody flirting, but it could also be a change in one's behavior. Maybe they've taken a new interest in something they never have before. Sometimes people just start working out or eating better or changing their hair or going into a new um, hobby or something like that. Anything that catches your attention. And be sure to leave some comments about your examples as well. And it means something. But what you decide is, it's not worth paying attention to. And so maybe the next eight times that you go out, the same thing happens, but it happens at a somewhat accelerated rate. And then maybe the person starts to go out without you. And so on. There's this progression towards the end state of betrayal. And every time you get a little hint, the world tells you that something's going on, you put it aside and you fail to take it into account. Well, you're foregoing your opportunity to adjust the relationship at micro stages because maybe what you should have done the first time that happened is you should have gone home with your partner and said, um, what the hell's going on? Like, this is what was happening. Why are you doing that? Um, here's how you should have behaved, and of course that's going to be a fight, there's absolutely no doubt about it. But, it might be a micro fight, instead of a, the relationship is over fight. And that's actually very true as well. We need to definitely take and put our prides and our egos aside, and let people know when they offend us. Sometimes we stay quiet because we're timid, Sometimes we stay quiet because we just don't want people to know that we got jealous because we are trying to protect our own ego. But I'm telling you guys, he's right. If you address it when it happens and you get past it, then your relationship can go forward versus ignoring it and then letting a big thing happen that will cause the demise of the relationship in its totality. And in order to keep a relationship healthy, it needs to be retooled at micro levels constantly, and the same is the case with your own character. When you encounter something that's unexpected, especially if it's small enough to handle, you need to extract the information from it, rebuild the world, and rebuild yourself. And then maybe if you continue doing that, every time you get evidence of an anomaly or an error, or every time the world manifests some meaning to you, then you won't have to fall apart. because the structure that constitutes you is going to remain viable and healthy from the bottom up. And if you don't do that, then those errors are going to accumulate. And when they finally do manifest themselves as unavoidable, like when your partner says, I don't want to be with you anymore, or I've been with someone else for the last year, there's no ignoring that, then the whole thing comes crashing down. I've been through that before. My last relationship was the purest example of it. We ignored some of the easiest signs that we could have addressed in the beginning, and then it may not have led to things like cheating, ultimately a huge fight which caused the breakup. You know, sometimes if you handle things before they get too bad, you can actually work things out. I'm pretty sure that's what he means by handling things at the micro level. You're handling small disagreements, small little examples of disrespect versus the ultimate betrayal. You're no longer in a relationship. You're no longer in a good relationship. And then all the other things become questionable. All right, that's it, guys. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think in the comment section. Should we do more Jordan Peterson? Is he interesting? Come on, let me know.